Hello YouTube, my name is Captain Darren. My call sign is N4VFR. Today I'll be updating the firmware on my Yaesu FTDX101MP. Okay, the first thing I need to do is to utilize the, the SD card in the radio. However, I don't want to do that because uh, the Yaesu instructions tell you that you have to initialize the SD card, meaning that you got to format it. So what I did was I removed the uh, micro SD card from my Yaesu FTM 400, and I'm just going to use it. So with that, I'm going to use a an adapter, uh, micro SD to SD adapter, and format it and prepare it for firmware transfer. What do you want to do first? You want to make sure you back up all your settings just in case if anything happens you do have a backup. So first thing I will do on the main menu is push function. I go to extension settings and then I go to the memory list save. I just click on done. I want to click on new and that's today's date, July 13, 2021, and, and, and then hit enter. So it's now saving that information, all your memories, onto the SD card. And then click on File Save. I also want to do the Menu Save. Click on Done. Click on New. That's today's date. Enter. File Saved you want to verify your current version of firmware that you have you click on software version and that lists all your versions on your radio I might need to format the SD card this version here or this capacity I got 32 gigabytes I'm going to use my sister's uh, Windows laptop and format all right, putting the uh, SD card back into the Yaesu radio. I'm going to click on the format, format SD card. Now formatting in progress. Formats completed. I'm going to eject the SD card now and we're going to load the firmware onto the card. Alright the firmware I got downloaded already the first thing you need to do is you need to uh, unzip it so let's uh, extract all and um, I'm going to use this directory um, download FTDX 101 firmware update 2021 Zero 05. Okay, there they are. This is very important. You need to copy those uh, firmware updates. I want to click on copy and then you need to save it under the FTDX 101 folder. Paste. There they are, right there. Okay, I will eject. And safely remove the SD card. We're now going to update the firmware. Uh, first thing you need to do is turn off the transceiver. Okay, insert the SD card. Turn on the transceiver. There's my call sign. All right, you push function, extension settings. You click on the, not click, you press on SD card and on the firmware update, push done. 
it's going to list all the firmwares that needs to be updated. The one that is unchecked, if the firmware is newer than the firmware in the transceiver and it is not marked with a check, touch the box and mark check. Okay, and then update. Are you okay with that? Okay. It is now updating. Okay, it's very important not to remove the SD card or even turn off your transceiver during the update period because you may corrupt the files or incomplete transfer and your system may be locked up. We'll just wait here and uh, observe the uh, firmware update. Once the update is complete, you see you saw there that the the radio turned itself off and then turned it back on or turned itself back on. Uh, next step is now we need to do a system reset. So how what we do there, we hold function extension, we press on reset, and then let's see we got memories menu all reset we're going to select all reset and are you sure are you okay about that and then okay okay it turned itself off you notice my call sign is back to FTDX 101 so that completes the update of the firmware. Now let's verify the firmware update. We go to functions, extension setting, soft version. There are the updates. Now I will reinstall I will reinstall the original SD card back into the radio power on the unit what I want to do is I want to reload my menus and my memories so go to function extension settings and here it goes to SD card I want to load memory list and uh, July 13th overwrite yes it's now loading All right, click on that. There's my call sign. Now I go to back to functions, extension settings. That was the memory list, and I want to load my menus. Click on this. Select today's date, July 13th, 2021. Overwrite, click OK. That was very fast. There it is. So it's always good to have a second SD card when you're doing firmware so you don't have to uh, like transfer those files onto your computer. Uh, I don't have a Windows laptop here at the home QTH. It's at the other house. So I use all Mac here. So it's a good thing that my sister stopped by and I'm using her laptop. Uh, so that completes the update and restore of my settings on the Yaesu FTDX101MP. Well, that's my update to my Yaesu FTDX101MP. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
please give me a like on my videos and please consider to subscribe to my channel as it helps motivate me making more videos. My name is Captain Darren, my call sign N4VFR. Until next time, have a great evening, have a great day, or good afternoon.